Let's talk binary numbers. I bet in school your teachers did something like this where they drew a line. It's a pretty straight line, actually. And uh, they put a 0, and then a 1, and then a 2, and a 3, and something very similar to this. And they called this the number line. All right, and that's a nice way to start out. But and, and then growing up, watching Sesame Street, you'll learn about the numbers 0 or nothing. And then I was recently watching an episode with my kids that showed the number 4 and all about the number 4. And 4 means that there are... If I, if I had apples, and this is an apple, then I have four apples. All right, and we're used to this numbering system because this is what we are raised with, and why it's called base 10, I suppose. And why, why did we choose this numbering system? Probably because we have 10 fingers or 10 toes, unless you've had some accidents or something to that effect. But this is what we're used to, is having these, these numbers here. So let me bring up a picture here I took out in my garage a little earlier. This is the speedometer and the odometer on my scooter. I love riding my scooter. and You can see I've ridden my scooter 13,069 miles. All right, And when we learn about numbering systems, this is the one place, and this is the tens place, and this is the hundreds place, and this is the thousandths place. And this is the ten thousandths place, excuse me while I write my O's up vertically, but you get the idea. And so how, how did these numbers end up on my scooter? It's pretty straightforward if you've watched uh, your car or any other vehicle as you're moving down the road. The, this this digit here, it go, goes, well it starts out at zero and then it goes to one and then it goes to two and then, let me, let me get something maybe a little bit brighter, I don't know, can I do white here? Two. All right, and then we can do three, four, so on and so forth. Eight. You can see when I took this picture, nine here. This is what we have now, a nine. Looks like a G when I write it, but that's a nine. And what's the next thing this single digit will do when I drive the next mile on my scooter? Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't roll to ten. Okay, this dial, if I busted this dial out of my odometer and brought it out and showed it to you, you'd see a, looking at the side here, a side view, it, it'd be circular, okay? And so the z the numbers go like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so when we get to 9, well, when I roll the next one, it's going to roll back to a 0. Okay, that's pretty small writing, I'm sorry, but let's... Let's see, so when this guy goes to a zero, like this, well, he bumps his neighbor. Okay, and so this, this neighbor here will go to a seven. All right, and hopefully that's, that's intuitive. Hopefully you've watched No Dahmer Go. And I, you see pictures on the internet or on Facebook, people have like nine, 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 nine. And I'll probably do the same thing when I reach that many miles on my scooter in however many years. But I'll take a picture of this and be like, watch this, or I'll videotape it. That'll be even better. I'll be driving my scooter, filming with one hand and throttling with the other. And we'll see all these numbers. This one will bump to a zero. But when it goes to zero, it's going to bump its neighbor, which will go to a zero, which will bump its neighbor and go to a zero. And bump its neighbor, it'll go to a zero. And bump its neighbor, go to zero. And finally, this digit, this lonely digit out here, which has never had a chance to rotate, will rotate to a 1, okay? And if you think about it, if I did this long enough, if I rode my scooter long enough, I would eventually get 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, and then as I, dri as I drive further along, that last mile is going to be even more epic than the one I just showed you. They will all go to zeros, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then I will put my scooter up for sell on the local classifieds, saying, come buy my scooter, it's brand new, never been driven. Now that's dishonest, and I, I, I honestly think my scooter will break down before I even get to the point that I can be tempted by that. But that's how numbering systems work. And if you think about it, when this digit here, let me get, sorry, I have to work with the colors here. When this digit goes to zero, what did I do? I counted ten numbers, did I not? All right, let's, let's actually, I'm going to take the time to write this out. It's zero, one, Two, three, four, f oh, five, sorry, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Oh, not nine, uh, not ten. <laughs> Just nine. That's that's all the numbers. If I took all the numbers on a single dial and unraveled them, we would have zero through nine. Well, how many numbers is that? Well, you may think nine because nine is the biggest value, but it's not. It is ten values. All right. It is. Let's do a different color here. I'll count. I'll count the numbers for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So 10 numbers there. This zero here probably throws you off a little bit because it's like, that's really a number? Yes, that is a number, and that is a number on our dial, and it takes up room on our dial. So, so yeah. Anyway, so when I count 10 numbers here, I bump this guy up to a 1. And if you think about it, this 1 here means 10, right? This is the 10s place. Okay? So when this one counts up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... And this is at a 9, and they both wrap around. Well, how many numbers did we count? Well, we just counted 100, and so this this digit will bump. Okay? I, I hope this isn't too technical. I mean, if, if, if you want to jump on my scooter and drive for a while and watch these numbers count, go for it. Uh, you can probably do the same in your own car. But I like the fact that this is a mechanical, and I know a lot of cars today uh, have digital odometers in there. But this is actually mechanical, and if I literally wanted to break this out and show you this dial, you would see the dial with the number 0 through 9 on it. Well, what if I changed my dial up? Instead of going 0 through 9, say I made a dial, a very simple dial, okay? And instead of going 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, instead I gave you a dial that was pretty straightforward. It had 0 or one on it. I think this is where a lot of people get mixed up is they think binary, oh, it's computers, it's so hard I can't think in it. Well, how come you can think in base 10? In base 10 you have 10 numbers. In binary we only have two. So this is actually simpler to me. I, I only have to think of a zero or a one. I don't have to think of 10 numbers. So this is actually quite nice. So if I had a such a dial, right, let's say Here's my, I'm going to, oops, let's clear that off here. Let's, let's, here's our new odometer, okay? And I'm going to make it, let's just do, we'll do four digits, okay? And each one will start out at zero. Okay, this is our new odometer for our scooter. And I drive one mile. Well, what's going to happen? Well, this one, this first digit, it will roll, roll around to a one. And then I drive another mile. Well, what's going to happen to this? digit here. It can't go to 2. We don't have a 2. It will roll again, but it will roll to 0. When it rolls to 0, it will do the exact same thing that we did in base 10. It will bump its neighbor, and its neighbor will climb to a 1. Okay? Then we drive another mile, and what happens to the 0? Well, he's going to roll again, so he'll roll around to a 1. And then let's drive the next mile. Well, the next mile is going to bump this guy. He's going to roll back to a 0. But when he, oh, that's not a zero. That's a zero. <laughs> that's a D. He'll roll back to a zero. And when he rolls to a zero, he's going to bump his neighbor. And his neighbor will bump to a zero. But then when he goes to a zero, he's going to bump his neighbor. And his neighbor will go to a one. And so on and so forth. This is how the pattern will go as we drive down the road. Now, if you notice, we've count how many numbers have we counted here? We counted, well, let's just write it out down here. We counted... Uh, one, and then this was our next one, that's two, and then we had three, and now we have four, and this is a binary four, okay? But notice, we are on the third digit, okay? This is the third digit out of these three. We haven't gotten to the fourth digit yet. Now, in the base 10 system, originally with my scooter, if we had zero, 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 and then we... We drive a mile, this goes to 1, and then it'll go to 2, and then it'll go to 3, and then it'll go to 4. Well, we're still only using that first digit in base 10, because each digit can represent more values than just 2. But in base 2, we only have a 0 and a 1, so we we move to the left faster. Okay, we use up more digits, much, we use more digits much more quickly. So you may scratch your head and think, oh, 
why do computers use this system if it's so inefficient? Well, computers are made up, they're based on this uh, concept back in the day when they made transistors, and can, transistors can be on or off, and computers can store states, which is either off or on, or on or off, or whichever way you want to think of it. Um, but other than that, computers don't store it. So if we can interpret these on and off values um, to have meaning for us as humans, then we can use them rather efficiently. Computers are very fast idiots. They work very quickly with these numbers and can add them, subtract them, and we'll see that in future videos. But, but in the meantime, all we need to do is learn this binary system, and which is easier, I think, to learn than base 10, because base 10, now I have to think of 10 values, but in base 2, oh, I only have to think of 2. And so we need to become as familiar with this numbering system as we are with base 10. We're taught base 10 because I, that's what we grow up with, that's what we know, that's, as humans, that's the first thing we know. And, and think of it, if we, if we learn base 2, or this binary system, before we learn base 10, we probably look at base 10 and say, oh, it's so hard to think in, I can't, oh, it's so complicated. But no, instead we learn the base 10. So it's not that hard, don't think it's that hard. We only have two numbers to worry about, 0 and 1, and, and that's it. Anyway, so that's a little intro to, to binary numbering. Let's, let's also, before I close, let's talk about the word by. Okay, if you think of the word by, there's plenty of words that start with, like, uh, well, something similar here, but we got bicycle. Okay, what's a bicycle? Well, it's a, it's a bike with two wheels. What's a unicycle? Unicycle. <laughs> unicycle. Unicycle is a bike with one wheel. One wheel, okay? Una meaning one, binary meaning two. And so, how many numbers can we have? Well, we can only have two numbers with this numbering system. Thus, we call it binary. All right. Anyway, I hopefully haven't confused you too much. Introduction to binary. There you go.